1909. 1915. First house I lived in was the house I was born in. I lived in there for 18 years. Well, we lived on the farm, and this uh, man bought the farm, and then he developed it up, had uh, houses and all that people could come and rent. The house I was born in was old, I think it was around 17 something. My husband wished it, that we was made money enough for the pay for it, the only we had paid twenty-five dollars a month, a month until we paid for it. We got the whole place for twenty-five dollars, twenty-five hundred dollars. Later, they call it the pirate house, the one in Saint Jerome, Nick, because uh, I it was a book I got at the library that uh, said that. Uh, a pirate was shipwrecked out in the Chesapeake Bay, and he, uh, it was cold. He floated to shore or swam to shore or something and laid there on the beach, and his uh, uh, feet was frozen off. And he lived there in that house. I mean, I guess he took up the residence in the house. It was a, this one room school, and uh, we went there, and it wasn't very many people come there because it was much of an old school, I mean, children. And it just had no inside, just that one room, and all I had to sit in the same room and the lessons and everything. We went to school at St. Peter's which we had to come across the water every day to, to go to school and go back across the water in the evening. We didn't get much school. Some two years we got for two weeks in school. And then one, another year we got most the whole year, but we had to work. We was <coughs> second of the oldest on the farm. And when it come to plant America and corn and stuff like that, we had, was a, the Yoda school them days for the help with that work. And if it was, if the tide was too low for us to get across the creek, we had to walk all the way around St. Jerome's Neck and through the woods to uh, school. We went to one little one room school house and they had a, had what called a concert, David the children did and showed up at all. And then uh, they had uh, dancing. This man come in with this razor shoot, uh, wave all, waving all around the place. I don't know who he was after, but anyhow, the people all was running. And it had a little stage like where we'd get up on the foot of the port where we was uh, songs and things and poems. And so I looked out and said, let me get to that window and get out. And it said, no. So I said, move. And I hasted that window up and jumped out. I had plenty of people come out behind me. 
Sometimes Uncle Randolph would have to carry us across the creek uh, in the boat because he wanted to use the boat. And my sister said, because we, we never had a boat until later years that didn't leak. She said she thought that boats were supposed to leak. <laughs> but uh, one of the neighbors was a good friend of ours, and he said he was going to build us a boat that didn't leak. And that's what he did. And that was the only boat. That's when I, when I knew that boats were supposed to leak. And we never got to any grade, past the any grade. But that would be what I say, third grade. After we had walked all the way from school in the evening, we would have to go get water. They call it getting the night's water. But we had to go to spring and get water. We'd bring in wood because we had to have wood for the fire. And milk the cow. Put oil in the lamps if they needed it. And feed the hogs, chickens. Clean the lampshades. And then it always took with the little babies around. And by that time, it was time to eat and get our lessons and sit around for a while and then go to bed. Uh, we had to buy uh, coffee and sugar and uh, sometimes meat. We had to buy kerosene and uh, lard, bacon powder, salt, and I guess they bought, sometimes you'd buy molasses, a big, big jug of molasses gallon jug. Ethel and I would drink out of that. <laughs> we raised uh, chickens and all, and he farmed them on the water and uh, had fish and crabs and oysters, and then we raised the garden and had vegetables and, and uh, some of them canned and Preserve it all, have to have things for weather. We had other products like uh, sweet potatoes, white potatoes, and corn, and tomatoes, and grapes. We used to play cards and we'd go to dances. We didn't call it uh, baseball like they have, they call it round the, round the pole. But it was similar to baseball, but didn't have a hard ball. And games, out, families. And, and to get somebody out before they got to the base, you could throw the ball and hit them. 